preparing to scan. Before collecting measurements with your device, you should consider issues that will affect your measurements. You will have information about the scanned area. You will consider information such as historical background and soil structure of the searched area. You should check the battery and charge status of your product during scanning. You should perform the search with a fully charged device. Low battery level is one of the elements that affect measurements. There should not be any high tension lines, main electric lines, cell towers, objects with high susceptibility, speakers or objects like magnets within at least 50 meter diameter of the area measured. Person doing the scanning should not have any objects with high magnetic susceptibility on him or her. Heat, radio receivers, solar power, ground minerals, loose soil, salt, water, etc. may have negative effects on measurement results. In order to prevent your measurements from getting affected by magnetic fluctuations, it should always be performed within north-south axis. Each search should be performed from north to south and from south to north. Using a compass to find your direction is recommended. Starting scans from the north is recommended. Device should be held vertically against the ground and should not be shaken. Your device's height from the ground should be between 10 centimeters and 15 centimeters and this level of height should be maintained throughout the collection of measurements. Do not lift or lower your device during each signal measurement. At least 10 signal pulses and 10 search rows, in other words 3 meters to 3 meters, is recommended for measurement size. A point you doubt in the measurement area should remain in the center of the measurement you perform. If the metal or cavity data is placed on the sides in the graphics collected, measurements should be repeated by centering this data. Wide measurements should be collected when search is performed on an unknown area. For example, search should be performed with 20 signals to 20 rows. Be attentive to keep 30 centimeters between each signal pulse count and 30 centimeters between each search row. You should perform measurements relatively in wider areas depending on the size of the area measured. If you are searching for large objects such as graves or rooms, you may increase the pulse intervals, for example, keeping 50 centimeters between each signal. If you are searching for smaller objects, such as between 20 to 30 centimeters, you should increase the frequency of signal pulse intervals. If a buried object remains under soil for longer amounts of time, the magnetic field it will produce will be higher and it could be detected easier. You should check the target at least twice by performing the search in the same manner. More measurements will help eliminate minerals and correct any errors, if any. More control scans performed on a potential object, the better your decision will be about whether the item is a real object. You may perform zigzag or parallel scans. If you have completed a scan line, the next one should be performed next to it. Measurement device should not be turned between rows. 3D Ground Scan Settings 3D Ground Scanning allows you to create 3D graphs based on whether you can scan a specific area. There are two options in the Ground Scanning function, Automatic and Manual. You do not need to press any button in Automatic Scanning for each number of signal pulses entered, and you need to press the Start button for each signal in Manual Scanning. Auto Scan and Pre-Scan Settings in Manual Scan when you select Automatic Ground Scan, you will be directed to the settings you need to make before the search. Respectively, Measurement Type. You must choose the number of steps or meters. In the Step option, you have to enter step numbers in Step and Line options. For example, 5 steps, 5 rows. In the Meter option, you must enter in meters in Step and Line options. For example, 5 meters line, 5 meters row. Scanning type. You can scan in zigzag or parallel. You should start scanning from the start point and finish at the end point, as shown in the graph. 
When the number of signal pulses entered for each row is complete, you should proceed to the next scan row. The measuring tool should not be turned when you move to the next row. Line. You must enter the row size of the search area in meters or steps according to the unit you have selected in the measurement type section. Depending on the number of signal pulses you have entered, you should go to the next scan row when the signal pulses are over. Step. You must enter the row size of the search area in meters or steps according to the unit you have selected in the measurement type section. Target Type You can select three different search objectives, Small, General, and Tunnel, according to the purpose of your screening. Small should be selected if your target is small objects. In the Small option, each scan signal range should be 15 to 20 centimeters. You can select the general scan, such as normal object space structure. In this option, your scan signal range should be between 25 and 35 centimeters. You can select the tunnel option for your scans covering large areas such as tunnel, room, and grave. In this option, you can search at 50 centimeter intervals. For example, if you select 10 signal steps and select small as the target type, you will scan with a distance of 30 centimeters each. You will have created a scanning line of 300 centimeters or 3 meters. Step Duration If you want the device to wait between each signal pulse, you can select not less than 0.8 seconds. When you increase the time, the waiting time will increase. This feature is activated in the Automatic Search option. Starting Point you can adjust your scanning starting point by starting at the bottom right or bottom left corner. To do this, you must select left or right from the starting point. If you start searching from the bottom left corner, you should continue with the next scan row on your right. If your selection is in the bottom right corner, you should continue with your next scan row on your left. After you have made all the settings, you can start scanning by pressing the Confirm button. 3D Ground Scanning Depending on the settings you made before the search, the 3D ground scan will begin. On the right side of the scan screen, you will see the settings you made before scanning. If your selection is Manual Mode, you must press the Start button on the front handle for each signal step. If your selection is automatic mode, you will be directed to press the start button when the number of signal steps entered for each sequence is complete. You must do this for each scan line. During scanning, you will see colors such as green, red, yellow, and blue depending on the measurements you have taken. All metallic objects and objects with high magnetic effect are mostly red, some are orange. Underground cavities, filled soils, cavities, are blue. You can see the soil as green without any changes and anomalies. You can see mineral soils and objects with a relatively low magnetic effect as yellow and orange. After the scan, you can determine this data in detail on the analysis screen. If you want to end the search before the number of signal steps entered and the line row is completed, you must press the back button on the device. Press back and the device will ask you if you want to end the search. If you select no, you can continue your search from where you left off. Select yes and your search will end and you will be directed to the 3D viewer screen. To obtain regular and accurate data, you must complete the number of signal steps and the number of lines entered.